Hey everybody, Yak here. Welcome back to the Long Dark, Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain, episode number 15. So here we are at our uh, second cave on the way up to the summit. Uh, things are doing, we're doing pretty good actually. We're well rested and all that. We got four, four hours of daylight left. A um, little peckish, a little dry mouth. Not Nothing too major. 100% condition, 48 degrees inside the cave. Uh, we've got some goodies here, emergency supplies, mountaineering rope, etc, etc. So let's get going here. We're on our quest for, to find ourselves some sewing kits. Not having much luck yet, yet, but I decided we'd go up and just double check the, uh, double check the, uh, it's 30 degrees outside. It's actually beautiful. It's a beautiful day out. I kind of just want to go stroll around, maybe make a snowman. Uh, well, we got coal for the eyes. We got some sticks for the arms. Now we just need to find that rabbit and rip off his freaking carrot. We're going to be set. I got a scarf and a hat too for him. We can make one kick butt snowman. Put it right on top of the fuselage of that plane. That wouldn't be disrespectful at all now, would it? No. But, uh, anyway, so we're heading up here. Um, not too certain how. Not too certain. Someone mentioned in the uh, comments that, uh, the arrow, the tree arrows that are laid down, all like point to places of interest. It's not just caves. It's like where the ropes are, where um, containers are. Apparently, prepper caches, possible spawn locations are. So, whenever you see those, it's definitely worth looking in the general direction they're pointing you in, at least. So, anyway, in this particular case, it looks like it's pointing us towards a place where we can drop a mountain rope if we want to or we can uh, I guess you could interpret that as being towards this rope here also so anyway I'm not not too confident in finding a sewing kit up here at the summit but um, how are we doing I'm doing just fine make sure we don't try to do this all in one go we definitely do want to stop on one of these ledges um, but I, there is a uh, um, wool long underwear that I neglected to grab last time, so we're going to upgrade our underwear, and uh, at the very least, maybe grab some items that maybe we can uh, scrap for some metal, make some hooks out of, because um, then we're going to need to actually craft our own, uh, uh, let's just keep going, what the heck, we got one more ledge here we'll use, we will probably do it all in one go, but last time I said that, things didn't work out so well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay up here for about uh, an hour or so. 35 degrees. <laughs> it's beautiful. Let's just, we can just sit here and take in the sights. So, what a game. What a game. I think, I think down that way is, what is it called, deer clearing or something like that? That's where we have uh, one of our little emergency laying up points in, in one of those caves, I think. But man, this is just beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and uh, drop down a bedroll, rest for an hour, regain just a little bit of strength or stamina, I should say. Actually, you know what? I wonder how much I've regained. Let me try running real quick there. Oh, we got plenty. Okay, we can actually just go ahead and go, go for it. We got plenty. Let's do it. Just had to stretch out them arm and leg muscles. Let them rest a little bit. There we go. Now, uh, somebody else left in the comments. Uh, see, these are comments that I read. Uh, I was happy to be at work, so I kind of skimmed through them real quick. But uh, that there is a container somewhere. He's seen it you know, where there is some sewing kits in them. He just can't remember which container it is. So I don't know anything about that. I don't know how accurate that is, but there's a big, big tree pointing towards a fuselage. Thank you. I would have never found that freaking feet. <laughs> gargantuan fuselage if it wasn't for that tree. Alright, so I guess it looks like that is a just something to keep in mind whenever you see those. Go towards them. Yeah, 20 degrees. Got a little colder up here. No big deal. I'm wondering if there's anything maybe around here. Maybe some containers I've missed. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of time here while we have the energy, while the weather's somewhat decent. Do a little exploring. Because I've never really, really explored this area up here. Um, looks like this one is actually pointing this way. But, uh... Not 
sure. Anyway, I saw that New York and basically the entire East Coast um, was going to get hit by <laughs> epic blizzard. And uh, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to go play some of the long dark. Get into the <clears throat> spirit of the season here. It's pretty cold where I'm at right now. Not much snow has uh, fallen, though, unfortunately. I love the snow, so... I'm a s oh wow! Check out this view. This is worth it just for the. Oh, there's the engine down there. So that's near our cave area. Well, actually, we need to go. We'd be going that way for the cave. And so this is the the little river that runs down to the lake, and then down there, I guess that would be the would be the cabin down there, right? So you get a little bit of better feel for uh, how the map's laid out. It's it's really neat. I guess there's a there's either there might be a dead body or a container or something like that at the top of that mountain. Something something of interest. Someone mentioned at one point or another. I don't think I've been up there. There's there's plenty of other areas that I have yet to uh, explore. Mainly because I'm not I'm still really learning this map. It takes me a while. Sort of like, I, I understand the, the primary interstate routes around this map, but I haven't gotten into the, uh, I'm starting to learn some of the secondary roads, but I haven't gotten to tertiary. Uh, tertiary roadways yet, but we'll get there. I wonder what's down here. That does not look like a safe boulder to camp under. Uh, it looks like it's defying physics. Wow, that'd be <clears throat> that'd be kind of a cool screenshot, actually, if I can get it. Let me get rid of my rifle here. Cause I do one of these numbers. Grizzly air, love it. <laughs> I forgot my print screen was my uh stop recording button I just accidentally stopped stop stop my recording didn't mean to do that I just got all caught up in the moment there I know there's no no threats up here it's starting to get a little nasty down there 28 degrees. Not worried about food, not worried about water. I'm pretty sure I left some water here, if I'm not mistaken. And I know we have MREs up in here. Assuming they're still in decent condition. I hope they're in good condition. That would be a bit of a tragedy. Now, I wonder if there is a prepper. Has anybody found a prepper cache on this map yet? I mean, like, do they even exist? Because um, if we can find a prepper cache, I would bet... I have. I, I put... I put some money on the fact that they're probably going to be a sewing kit in there. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and I just realized, I don't know how much of the episode, how much, or how, how far into the episode we were when I hit the, uh, I think I researched this dude, yeah. When I hit the, uh, stop button for the recording, so I'm going to have to kind of guesstimate as to the video length. Right now, as I look up at the screen, where you guys can't see it, but there's an overlay at the upper left for me. It shows my frames per second and the time that has elapsed on the recording. I'm only showing a minute and 50 seconds, so... Yeah, that's not right, obviously. It's a, that's a minute and 50 seconds for the second recording that I've started. Really munson myself this time. No, not really. It's not that bad. What's this? You know there? Oh, I thought maybe there's something interesting there. Guess not. Be awesome to come up here and find a prepper cache, but my gosh, 
What a place to put a prepper. Oh, I, you know, I was just thinking. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've had a sprained ankle. <clears throat> well, I think what we'll do here is... Uh, let's just get the rest. We're going to need the rest anyway. So let's just limper a little happy butt back down to the plane. Get settled in. Rest a little bit. We'll continue exploring the last little section of the map there, or this this level of the map, once we wake up. There's one hour daylight left, so we'll just spend a night here. Eh, no big deal. Pretty sure I have plenty of firewood. If not, we can always run out here and chop up some real quick, but it shouldn't be that cold once we get inside. Oh, feathers. We'll take feathers. Is there another one up here? Looks like no, nah, it might be a piece of wood. Is that a piece of wood? Yeah. Something. There's another feather. So that was uh see I saw that for the uh what was it the Academy Awards or whatever it is, they're you know the the black actors are um, boycotting it, and it just kind of it struck me as a little bit of ironic that if you have enough people, because and the reason is they're not being uh, they're saying they're not being represented uh, um, fairly when it comes to awards, and I don't know the details of it because I'm not that into Hollywood or anything like that, but a thought occurred to me: if you have enough people to effectively boycott something in your industry, doesn't that sort of prove that you're represented well enough? I don't know. Okay, those are just rifle cleaning kits. And we got some pain meds, which we could use, but eh, whatever. Not going to. It was just one of those things where I'm like, that seems kind of ironic. Sort of. Nothing in there. No close. Another mountain rope. Oh, so sick of me. What I... I trade a mountain rope for a sewing kit right about now. Yeah, okay. Sketchy peanut butter. Yeah, we'll have some of that. Good enough. Now, see, I don't think these are deteriorating that fast because that's at 99%. Maybe it's just that crackers really, really deteriorate slowly. I don't know. Yeah, we got some crackers. We're going to have peanut butter and crackers. It could be worse. could be better. Wow, that's a lot of metal, actually. Um, are these deteriorating, all of these? Because if so, we should probably turn them up, most of these into metal. We should probably scrap most of them, because I don't think the metal deteriorates. We'll check that in the morning. I'll see if that's still 23%. That 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 one that's uh, worse for wear there. Uh, these are kind of sketchy. So We'll drink the sketchy stuff. If we get food poison, we'll take our medicines and get the rest we need. Um, I think we've got plenty of calories right there. Oh, the MREs are in pretty good shape. We'll grab that one up for the road. Way, way back down. Um, Uh-oh. I hear someone crying. I'm going to go have to tuck somebody in here. So if you guys excuse me, just enjoy the scenery here, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Well, I am back. Got her tucked right back in. She just needed to be hugged and put back into bed, and she's happy, happy as can be. So, how do I get into this container? Can I? Is there a way to do it from? I thought this one had. Huh, okay. All right. Well, let's let's check all these and make sure. I thought there was one with clothing, wasn't there? No, that's the tools. Those are in great shape, so we don't need to worry about those. Is it over here? I thought this was just rifles and stuff. Here's the cleaning kits. Where's the clothing at? There was one with clothing. Hmm. I know, I checked these two. Okay. 
Uh, was it this one? And now I can't actually, for whatever reason, I can't reach the doors. This kind of looks like it should be one. I can't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, am I stuck? Are you, are you kidding me? I'm actually stuck here. Luckily, I have a hatchet. Oh, no, there we, there we go. I broke free. Wow. That was kind of freaky. Well, where's the clothing container? Yes, ow. Where is the clothing container? I wonder if I can jump up here. Yeah, I did. I don't, really don't want to fall into there. I don't think I'd ever make it out. That would that would be a horrible way to die, but I'm kind of hoping that... I thought this was a container, but I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know. I'm a little perplexed. All right, well, let's just get some sleep for now. What's the temperature at? 35 degrees. That's pretty good. So let's get some rest, get something to drink. Try not to food poison ourselves too badly. It's a risk. It's a risk we run, but uh, we're okay. We could We could definitely survive here, no problem with it if we had to. And I think this is like 900 calories in it. That's a bit much. We don't want to expose ourselves twice to the food poisoning roll, so we're going to hold off on that. Um, man, we're in pretty good shape. Should be, yeah, looks pretty good. Let's just go ahead and uh, get a little bit of rest. I, th I say we probably just rest for uh, a short time in case the weather the temperature really drops quick on us and we can start a fire if we have to. Right now it's 35 plus 5 degrees from the bedroll. Let's just do two hours here. Alright, still 100%. 32 degrees plus 5. So it's got a little bit colder. We're going to be want to be very care careful with the hypothermia right now. Because uh, I'd hate to get food poison and hypothermia. I have no idea how long this episode is now that I've had to stop it twice. Um, how are we doing with this? One hour of rest left, so... Let's just go ahead and rest. Um, temperature's at 31. We're still barely getting by. We're probably going to need to start a fire next time, though. Thirty degrees, and eh, we're getting close. Sounds like it's starting to get a little nasty out there. So I'm thinking, what I'll do is I'll just uh, got a ton of reclaimed wood. Mm. Kind of want some fresh, actual, real wood out here. Let's see what it's like out here. I got, I do have some fur limb. What's the temperature out here? Twenty-one. Yeah, let's bust this thing up. That should make it through the night, no problem. Before we leave, we're gonna want to. Uh, check and make sure our tools are better than anything else we have here. I think it was in this container, I think. Maybe, yeah, I think it was that other container. Just to be safe. Might as well upgrade your tools while you can. Um, yeah, let's get a fire going here. And, uh, oh yeah, let's, let's do the old torch thing. The old torch method here. I think, I think we're pretty close to actually, uh, being at 100% for fire starting ability. Should be anyway. I wonder if my torch will burn out before I get this fire started. Because it was a little bit, it was kind of low. I shouldn't have put the fire there. I have to kind of like creep my way past or go the other way. To get to get around it without burning myself. All right, there we go. Let's extinguish this, and uh, that looks better. How are we doing here? 43 degrees, much better. To get a drink. Hmm. Guess we really don't have any water. Do we have some water? Yeah, it's in that container. Let's go grab some of that real quick. Oh, great! It's stuck again. Hold on. Come on, let me jump over. Oh, am I just gonna have to bust you up? Be done with it. I think so. Let's just do that. Bust up the crate. There we go. 
Yeah, it's starting to get warmed up at least. There we go. Hmm, I think we can grab the sodas, right? Let's try to grab some sodas. If there's anything worth... Yeah, let's try to do this. Maybe we get calories on board at the same time. Throw these fir wood on there. Let's throw that in there. Five hours, and I don't think we have that much. Yeah, it's perfect, actually. It's just about perfect. Um, how are we doing on rest? Pretty good. I was going to use tea, but we really don't need to. It's nice and toasty in here. Let's just rest then. I'll see you guys in the morning. That's some music I have not heard before. At least I don't remember it. Alright. Two hours left. That was not correct. The timing is off on these. Okay. Let's pick this up. What's our weight at? 58 pounds. Let's go do a little bit more exploring here. Eh, I might just boil up a little bit of water here real quick. Just for the return trip, you know what I mean? Oh, I am thirsty. <laughs> See that just now. I just noticed that I'm in dehydrated. There we go. Alright. Let's uh let's get one of those sodas in our belly. I'll take the edge off at least until we can get this boiled up. There we go. Good stuff. All right, how are we doing on torches? Do we have enough torches? Yeah, we got two torches. One's at 5%, one's at 96%. So we're in pretty good shape with torches. 49% 40, on the hatchet. Could sharpen it up. But I think we have some hatchets in here we can just swap it out for. So, I think it was up in here, wasn't it? The tools. Yeah, there's a 78% hatchet. So we'll take that one. And uh, we do have a spare one down in our cave. We also have a spare knife as well. So let's uh, let's drop this one here. It has our uh, knife doing. Let's go ahead and upgrade our knife. Might as well. I think we also have a saw waiting for us down there. I would like to cut these metal containers up that are empty. That would be kind of nice. I'm still going to check one more time for clothing because I swear that I must be overlooking the clothing container or something. Man, I th wasn't there one around here? What happened to it, huh? Bunch of food. How quality are you know, I'm going to pick these up and put these in a container because I guess containers actually... Uh, I was never really clear on this, but Willow West seemed to be very clear on it when she posted that the containers do actually slow down the degradation by 50%. So, hey, I'm not one to argue with her. She's pretty good about her stuff. So. And again, great channel. You guys uh, ever get bored or sick of me or whatever, head her way. Or heck, don't, you don't even have to wait that long. Just head her way and check it out. It's a good channel. Same for uh, Gamer Nate. If you guys are really into fishing, you should head over to my nephew's site, Fishing the Midwest. Joe Joe Bars 33 This is his uh, username. He's got like 56,000 subscribers or something crazy like that. He's doing really well. Really, really knowledgeable when it comes to uh, fishing. Fresh water, freshwater fishing in the Midwest. Very impressed by him. But the Jojo Bars is uh, J0J0BARZ33. And again, his channel is called Fishing the Midwest. Alright, let's head over here and just do some exploring for the heck of it. Maybe we'll get lucky and stumble into a prepper cache or a sewing kit factory or something. I don't know.
you know, I'll run into the body of my old uh, home ec teacher. I'll be like, yo, you got any sewing kits for me? And her body will be like, well, I'm dead, so I'm not going to say anything. But yes, I do. I got plenty of sewing kits because I was a home ec teacher in a past life. Uh, oh, whoa, what's this? Is there an arrow? Or not an arrow. Is there a tree pointing towards us? I think you're supposed to be pointing towards us. This looks like a cave to me. I wonder if this is explorable. I doubt it. Ooh. This guy looks like he's seen better date. Another mountain rope? My gosh, we can just put him everywhere, can't we? Oh, come on, sewing kit. Come on, sewing kit. Come on. Antibiotics, yes. Oh, come on, sewing kit. Sewing kit, sewing kit, sewing kit, sewing kit. Stinking mountain ropes. I'm telling you, I'd trade him. Trade him in a heartbeat for a sewing kit. Oh, it has some wood here. We'll take it back. I guess we'll uh, take the mountain rope back too. We're going to be encumbered now. And the antibiotics. We'll just keep it all together. So we're not. We don't have stuff spread out quite as bad as it is. Oh, what's over here? Anything? I guess it's going to be time to head down the mountain and try to do it. Now, the, the area that I haven't explored is really down on the the ground level of the map. The lowest level of the map. It's sort of like over in that way. Um, that's like the most unfamiliar area for me. What is, is that a bear? That kind of looks like a bear. That's a bear. Hey, bear. Is that a shortcut down? Just to tumble down the... Tumble down the mountain there. Now, see, there's some more... Uh, that tree's pointing at something. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's those... Con is that the containers down there? I think those are containers down there. I think I think those had some shoes and stuff in it, if I'm not mistaken. We'll have to check it out. We might... Uh, might. I think what we'll do is we'll head back to our main cave and then sort of decide what we're going to do from there. I hate to break up tools just to make sewing kits, but you know what I mean? Because tools are so important, but I guess we can make improvised knives and hatchets and things like that if we need to. Well, I'm not seeing anything else around here. Alright, well, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, I'm going to go in here, rest for an hour, and drop this rope and all that. Um, I'm pretty sure that... I'm looking up at this timer and we're at 14 minutes now. I'm pretty sure that we'll, we're, we are well over the 30 minute mark for this video. So I think you guys got some bonus footage today. All right. Oh, I got a funny story for you guys in the next episode. You guys got to remind me to uh, tell you about the uh, FBI surveillance van. <laughs> Allegedly. All right. So there's some mountain rope. We're going to drop you right here with your buddy. Got plenty of mountain rope up here if we ever need it. It's not hard to get up here, really. Now, now it's not a big deal. Some of the drink. We think. Think if we have a little snack. I think we should definitely have a little snack. See if we get food poisoning. All right. So far, so good. And that's 900. It's gonna be too much. Again, don't want to double exposure ourselves to that low of a condition. We'll leave it there. I think. Well, we could probably eat these actually. Let's go ahead and eat that beef jerky. If we get sick, this would be a good spot to get sick, actually. Embers. Just went from one minute to embers. Okay. Let's go ahead and lay down our bedroll. And I shall ask you, like I do every episode, like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar, or head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurize2 if you would like to be a producer on the videos on this channel. So, a lot of you have done it, and, uh, I'm really happy to see the see all the support. It's, it it really does uh, mean a lot. I think you guys are really great viewers and uh, fans and all that. And so thank you. And uh, you all take care. If you guys are in the in the uh, on the East Coast, there, New England area, stuff like that, just tuck down. Try to stay warm. 
and uh, try to avoid going outside if you're stuck in that blizzard. So, and uh, I hope you guys uh, make it through it okay. Y'all take care now. Bye.